But first, a classmate of the two teenagers hit by a truck in southwest Roanoke yesterday speaks with 10 News. We obtained surveillance video that shows the moment of impact, and we got to tell you that it may be tough to watch. And take a look at the top of your screen. You see the pair walking on the sidewalk along Brandon Avenue southwest when that white Ford pickup truck slams into the power pole an instant before striking the two teens. 10 News reporter Patricia Martellotti is live at the crash site. So Patricia, this classmate heard that crash happen. What they have to say? That's right. Well, Hannah Richardson goes to school with the pair at Patrick Henry High. The 17-year-old says this story hit a little close to home, literally. Shocked. I didn't even realize it was her at first, but then I found out it was her, and I was just like, oh my God, that's one of my friends from school. Hannah Richardson was inside her home on Brandon Avenue Southwest when a pickup truck hit a power pole just before striking two teens walking on the sidewalk in front of her house. I was really worried that her leg could have been split open because it was it looked like the rim of the truck was on her leg. It's upsetting because I know this road can be really dangerous at times and it's not really that safe to walk down at all. Police say the pair appeared to have non-life-threatening injuries. Neighbors are still shaken and believe something like this was bound to happen. Even after he impacted the pole, he was, it can, it, the truck continued to travel over top of what was left of the telephone pole. And lines and power lines were flying everywhere and debris was flying everywhere. Police say the man driving the truck also had non-life-threatening injuries. While the incident remains under investigation, neighbors are praying for the students. Just to help them, you know, because it's got to be traumatic even for them because to be walking down the sidewalk and next thing you know, you're pinned under a truck. While the incident is still under investigation, police say no charges have been placed at this time. Reporting live in Roanoke, Patricia Martelletti, 10 News, working for you.